Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be talking about the very popular trading method and investing method for every week inside of FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is the Thursday flipping or weekend league rewards market rise and the amount of investments that we can make that usually go up after those rewards come out. We're going to talk about this week what players you want to be looking to buy, maybe some links to the upcoming team of the week. Of course, that's not out just yet. We only have a prediction. But kind of giving an idea of that and also just looking at the state of Thursday flipping after last week, so many cards rose and there's a really large number of people in the community right now, especially in the trading community that are expecting that to happen again and they're ready to invest and they're ready to buy players because they want to make coins and they want to have that market rise. I do think the market is going to rise this week with rewards happening again. Uh, I do think uh, that part of that extra rise last week was just due to a lot of the sell-off and a lot of the panic that we had headed into this Rule Breakers promo. And we don't have a lot of that this week because we, we know the promo, we're in the middle of it. So we'll talk about the buy time today and also talk about when to sell, stuff like that as we head into the second set of Rule Breakers cards. So of course... Uh, we have to talk about all the different types of cards today, right? Popular golds, metas, uh, informs, out of pack specials, even when to buy record break, rule breaker pr players. If there's any rule breakers that you want to buy, I think during rewards is going to be a good time for that. But first, we're going to take a quick peek at a team of the week prediction. Uh, this is a team of the week prediction put together by Matt Foot Trading. I'll leave the link down below in the description. But. This is probably what the team leak is, is going to look like today. There's a lot of link investments for these cards that are already inflated, right? Akanji is possibly coming out. Uh, Delaney is already inflated because of that. Valverde, this is like one of the most hyped cards of this possible team of the week. Ramos is in form. Courtois in form. A lot of cards are inflated for this one right there. Uh, another Lewandowski in form could be coming. He had a hat trick. His First inform is down like 30, 40,000 coins from where it was. That's going to be something to watch as well. So just, again, taking a quick look at this, this could be some of the players that we do see in the team of the week this week. Uh, honestly, it does not look like that great of a team of the week, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, but of course, this Paulinho is interesting because of the Talisca SBC that we got yesterday as well. So talking about what players to buy and what we can expect this Thursday. So of course, today on Tuesday, we didn't have any, tr we had tradable market supply, or sorry, yesterday on Tuesday, we had tradable market supply with the UCL marquee matchups SBCs. And this dropped the market a little bit in terms of some of the goals that were in packs. They dropped a little bit and some of them rebounded back up quickly. Some of them are still kind of down, but a lot of stuff seems to be just trickling upwards, right? Um, and I think what a lot of it is, is people are starting to actually buy into their Thursday flips early. And I think that was something that even today I was thinking about, could we buy into them? I just don't like buying Thursday flips until Wednesday after the content drop because you never really know what EA is going to drop. Last week on Wednesday, we didn't buy our flips until right before rewards because the trend that we've been seeing in the weeks past is a lot of people start listing up cards and panic selling right before rewards. And last week we had the new promo loading screen at 8 p.m. UK time that was released on the market and that caused even more panic. Everybody was talking about this card last week, this Musa Sissoko, who went up like 60% or something like that uh, from Wednesday night right before rewards into the day on Wednesday, a massive market rise on some of these golds. I don't think it's going to be as big this week because last week people were scared to invest with the promo screen and that stuff coming out. And also just with how low the market was, they weren't sure how the first set of weekend league rewards was going to impact the market. Um, but it was incredible, right? And the market boomed and people made tons of coins. And that was like a uh, huge, I'm going to do a little Sissoko flip here with the chemistry style, but that was a huge time where a ton of people made coins last week. So uh, this week, I do think the market is going to rise again. I just don't think it's going to be as much as last week. But again, buying these cards, I'm going to wait until after 6 p.m. today. I might even wait until after 8 p.m. I wouldn't be surprised if EA dropped another loading screen Today on Wednesday, I'd say like maybe a 50% chance today that we get another loading screen for Rule Breakers Set 2, maybe teasing at some of the cards that could be in. I would more likely expect that, that uh, loading screen on Thursday though, not necessarily 
today. So again, starting to look at these meta cards, what are the players that you want to buy again? It's going to be these meta players, right? Because some of them, yes, are lower rated. Yes, some of them are going to get packed at rewards, but almost all of these cards are going to be heavily present in a lot of people's weekend league teams. And that just means they're going to and they're just going to rise, right? Now, some of these cards are out of packs, like Rashford is out of packs right now. Um, he's going to be coming back in. Werner is out of packs. He's going to be coming back in. And some of these low-rated cards that get packed at rewards, we have to talk about as well. But guys last week that did really well for me, I, I bought into Tellez. I bought into Wijnaldum. If, I don't know if, if you look at these graphs from last week, the rises are honestly mental. I, I might have went past Wijnaldum already, but I didn't. There he is. 85 Wijnaldum went last week from 65,000 coins all the way up to 85,000 coins on that Friday. Huge, huge rise. This is the rise that we saw last week. Again, I don't think it's going to be this big this week, but it's the same players that we bought last week that you want to be looking at this week, right? Especially some of the higher rated golds in the most popular positions, nationalities, and leagues across the game, right? What cards are meta? What cards are hyped up? Now, you can look at lower rated cards too, but you might want to take a, a separate or a different look at those. If you're going to be awake for rewards, uh, that would be kind of the time to buy those. But Sterling is somebody who I'm a big fan of this week. Um, I still kind of like Bale. I know he's a little bit lower rated. Hazard probably we will do well. Um, of course, think about the players that we've had this week in the game, right? We just had a Taliska SBC that came out yesterday that's decent value and this Mukiele card, right? A lot of French links are out to be had. Maybe a guy like Varane this week would have a really big week. I think right now he's at like two, he's 300,000 coins. So he is rising. Even a guy like Pugba though, I feel like could see a bigger rise this week or even a lower rated card like Sissoko as people are trying to link together a guy like Mukiele who they were, are able to attain through objectives uh, for not that hard, not that much time to put in uh, into the game. So again, high rated meta golds, big fan of those. Best way to find cards like to buy this week is go into last week's graph, look at the market rise uh, and see how they did, right? Bruno Fernandes really didn't do much. He went from 119 to 134, which I guess is a decent amount. It just doesn't look like it because of his mad graph from when he was out of packs. So we went up about 20K, but if you're paying 100,000 coins, you don't want your card to go up by 10,000 coins. And you know, that's a decent flip. But last week, like that wasn't even that good of a flip. There were cards that went nuts. Again, like Wijnaldum, Dybala is probably going to be a decent one. Kyle Walker could be decent. Um, you know, just kind of thinking about what players could be in this week's team of the week with, of course, the French nationality being very hyped up. Again, maybe somebody packs Zaha. This team of the week just does not look that hyped to me. So I don't know if that the team of the week links are really going to do much uh, for rewards this week. But again, focus on Prem, focus on meta, and that'll help you a lot. Or Bundesliga, of course, meta cards as well. And uh, for low rated cards, let's talk about those for a second, right? Let's talk about a guy like, um, I don't know if Adama Traore or Rodrigo. This is a perfect example of what happened during rewards. This Rodrigo card last week, I know it, he's dipped off a bunch on Thursday. He was like 20,000 coins rewards he was about 15k like right before rewards and then during rewards this guy i know it says 14k he actually dipped down from 14k i believe he was down to 9,000 coins and then over the course of the next day into friday he jumped back up to 17 same thing with a guy like adama Traore. they dipped really low and then rebounded right after rewards so the rewards tradable pack supply is going to be another time where if you're unsure about buying cards and you want to mess up, you want to try to get into the low rated cards, the rewards time frame is going to be a decent time for you guys to be able to do that. Low rated cards that are going to pop back up, a guy like Fred, Alfonso Davies could be a decent one. Davinson Sanchez, we, we looked at Sissoko already. He would be a good one to do that with. Uh, again, Adama would probably be decent. He's low rated. He's going to get packed, but a lot of people still use him. Ake as well at 11K would be a really nice low rated card to get in on too. So just kind of remember those, right? If you maybe you, you start to see prizes today on the market start to actually rise back up. I'm a huge fan of this Dobson card. He went up like nuts last week. Um, I had a few of them, I believe. Right now he's around 22,000 coins on the market. He was 20K today during the SBC supply. And this guy, honestly, if, if there's no content that comes today, you might actually see these cards start to rise up uh, on the market throughout the, the later part of the day on Wednesday. If there is no content and there's not a lot to do, people are just going to start buying up their weekend league teams 
and uh, they're not going to look back and they're going to start doing that and start investing. One other tip when you're buying your cards to flip this weekend is buy them with desirable chemistry styles attached. Like I just bought the Sissoko to quick flip it because I'm not actually buying my, my Thursday flips right now. What I'm doing is I'm just buying this as a quick flip because I think Sissoko or Sanchez with a shadow sells for 23, 24,000 coins. So I can make a, a small quick flip out of that, but buy them with the chemistry styles attached. That will add some value to your card when you do go to sell. So that's a very, very good point or a very good tip that I can give you guys there. So out of packs informs, let's take a look at these, right? I usually like out of packs informs. These guys are all kind of chilling inflated though. And I'm not a huge fan of that. Or I would just wait and see if, if any of these cards get panic sold off at all today. And that would be something I would look into if Bruno was down back below 320, if Vardy was at 179, 180, uh, Lozano was at 90K flat, I would look at him. A lot of people have already started to invest in link investments, right? Ramos is very inflated. Courtois is very inflated. And this Lewandowski is one that I'm watching today, right? I do think he's going to get into team of the week, but this Lewandowski inform uh, right here only has 79 pace. And every year what happens is when Lewandowski gets an inform that puts him above 80 pace, that card is a lot more expensive than the one that has 79. So this guy's down like 30, 40,000 coins from where he was because people are expecting Lewandowski to get another inform. But Lewandowski's new inform today, if it comes out, even if it doesn't come out, this card's going to rebound back up. But if the new inform today is like 600,000 coins, I would expect this card to bounce back up above 250, 260, 270. Uh, so watch the panic selling on this card in the morning and possible rebound. That could be like a, a morning Wednesday trade that you see there, depending on if he does get into the team of the week or not. Now, one card that I'm actually seeing right now that's kind of low is Teo Hernandez. This guy is usually on like the 110 mark. That must have been a foot bin undercut that they caught because he's still around 110, 111, but foot bin says 103. So that's pretty interesting. But if you're going to buy any gold cards that are out of packs, or sorry, team of the week cards that are out of packs, Make sure it's meta, make sure it's popular. And uh, you know what? I've been talking to a couple guys today and we've all sort of agreed that one decent flip this week might be goalkeepers. We've been looking at Yoris, we've been looking at Allison, and we've been looking at Ederson because a guy like Courtois is up so much already. This Ederson is honestly up a little bit himself. He was around 70,000 coins. He was 68K earlier this week. He started to rise a bit. So maybe you watch some of these goalkeepers, especially Yoris, because... Um, he of course is the best French goalkeeper in this game. I was snagging him today for like 21, 22,000 coins, um, during the pack supply that came out today. So if this guy dips at all anymore today, I'm going to get very interested in it because French is the name of the game now for back lines, especially with the new Mukiele objective that did come out and a lot of other French special cards. So Again, at the rewards time frame, definitely watch out for lower rated cards. Probably buy these sort of cards later in the day on Wednesday after the content drop just to see if there is any panic selling or any tradable pack supply that would hit the market. And if you want to buy any of these rule breakers, if you want to invest in these, I do think there are a certain amount or a certain number of these cards that are going to rise out of packs. These guys are really rare and they're going to get hit with supply. Treat this how you would treat a new team of the week at rewards on a Thursday, right? What happens when a new team of the week is out on Wednesday? On Thursday, they usually dip down, the meta cards at least. The meta cards dip down during the first hour or two of supply from week and league rewards, and then they bounce up after that as people start buying them for their teams. I expect a similar pattern to happen with these. Some of the cards might just shoot up at rewards though, so be very, 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 very careful with that. A guy like Harry Kane, Mertens, Costa, Laporte, they're not going to get packed much at rewards unless EA messes with the pack weight. So I would expect them to probably bounce back up very quickly after weekend league rewards, but maybe a guy like Andre Kamara uh, or maybe Ocampos, who I think all three of these dudes are pretty solid investments. Uh, you might see them dip down at rewards a bit and then rebound after. But all in all, with just the rarity of these cards and how hyped up they are and just the fact that these are some of the only special cards we have in the game, I do think almost not all of these cards, but a lot of these cards are going to bounce back up and they're going to be a decent investment out of packs. The only thing that would impact these cards as they rise up out of packs would be a second um, rule breakers team that would have cards like we talked about the possibility of a striker Richarlison, right? Let's say they give Richarlison a card. Let's say for some reason that Richarlison comes onto the market 
And of course, he's going to be a pretty cracked out card. Harry Kane right now is chilling at like 1.15 million coins. What if Richarlison comes out? 1.11, he's low. What if Richarlison comes out and he's 600k and he has similar stats to this, but for whatever reason, the pack weight or whatever, that's the only risk you have with this, that a card like Kane could drop down or a card like Nangolan or, or maybe Llorente or Laporte could drop down if another player in the same position comes out, whether it's in Team of the Week or in... Um, to the record breakers team too that's the only kind of risk in my opinion that you have with these cards um dropping out of packs but i think these guys are really meta i think they're popular if i had to pick any favorites rising out of packs my number one favorite would be laporte of course french center back in the prem with the 80 pace I think this guy, this guy is going to go back over 500k very, very quickly just because of his links. Of course, the Kyle Walker, Ederson, and the French links. And I think Douglas Costa is going to be a bang out, out of packs as well with his, his increased finishing, the five-star skills. That's going to be huge for that card. And then I, I do expect guys like Andre, right? Because we have Andre is a nice green link to Renato Sanchez, who is extinct at 150k. This card, 60,000 coins, French links. I'm a big fan of that one. Ocampos is like the only special card right wing in La Liga. That's a rare position uh, for that league. I think he'll rise. Nangolan will rise. He's very good. Kane's going to rise because he's the, the promo headliner. Um, honestly, I think all, out of all this team, everybody's probably going to rise except for Dumfries might not go up much. Lazari might not move too much. And I don't know about Llorente. I still think he's overpriced just because the comparison to his gold card, a lot of people would prefer the gold. So if you want to buy one of these for your team, I would recommend doing it during rewards first hour or two for the low rated cards. And as soon as possible, if you see a lot of panic selling before rewards today, which I don't think you will be seeing, then uh, maybe you pick up some of those cards then. But again, just to summarize it all, right? Looking to buy players, uh, I would focus again on the high rated players that are uh, in the Prem, that are hyped up, that are in a lot of people's teams. Of course, the more times that you see a card when you're facing up against weekend league squads, the more likely that it is people are buying that card because they like to use it. And the more likely that it is that it rises on a Thursday after rewards. Think of it that way, that way right? You want to invest in the cards that you're seeing all the time on the weekend that are very meta and very popular. That's the best way to think about it right there. And of course, out of packs informs could be decent. Get in on those low rated meta cards. Like if you want to buy a dude like Ake or Adama, I do still think even though these guys are low rated, they're still very, very hyped up. They're still very, very sought after by a lot of people. Can I buy this? No, I can't. Anyways, uh, these guys will probably dip in the first hour or two of rewards and then slingshot back up as people buy them for their squads, even if it's just for super subs. So definitely watch out for that as well. And then if you want to buy any rule breakers, definitely do that during the first hour or two of rewards, or if there's a big panic sell off before rewards, uh, do that then as well. So right now I'm trying to quick flip some of these cards. I've already had a decent amount of sales today. Just a lot of quick flips, making some coins, which is nice. But again, the one thing to also keep an eye on today is just how much, if, if card prices start rising into the nighttime UK, if there's no content, I would expect that because people are going to start investing. There's going to be a lot of people that buy up cards for Thursday flipping this week. It's going to be a lot of competition on snipes, on bids, because a lot of people are going to be trying to do it this week. I still think the market's going to rise. Just make sure that you pick your targets wisely. Pick cards. A lot of people are going to want to add to their teams for Weekend League, and you should be just fine. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.